Uh, morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Xiao Hui, and uh, it's been a very great privilege to be invited here to, to talk about the pro uh, project Escript. So, so in a simple word, what is Escript? Escript is a high-level language that can enable us, like uh, regular developers, to write smart contracts on top of Bitcoin. So, I mean, wh whenever I say Bitcoin, I mean Bitcoin SV. So, so uh, we know that's a native language that's building uh, Bitcoin when the first release is called uh, uh, Script. So the idea is to for Bitcoin not only have uh, money transfer function, but also can enable a lot of other complex uh, business logic like escrow or multi-sig. But uh, it has been more than 10 years after Bitcoin first uh, launched, but we haven't seen many uh, contracts applications so far. So why? So I, I put I, I think of uh, two reasons. Number one, of course, we know it was intentionally uh, crypto, uh, crippled, either intentionally or unintentionally crippled by a lot of developers. So because, for example, on the BTC network, it's a uh, capital one megabytes. And also, there are a lot of constraints, artificial constraints on the number of opcodes and the length of the, the transactions and also the, the uh, or transactions. So that's number one, is artificially capped. The second one I would say is, so if you, I've given one example of the, how the script looks like on my, on the right of the screen, it's called uh, the Ackerman function in script, which is uh, uh, some work, nice work uh, done by Enchain. So if you look at the right side, so I don't know about you, but uh, to, uh, even for, for a programmer, for me, I've been like more than, I don't know, uh, 10, 15 years. Uh, I look at this this code. I, I don't I don't feel like uh, it's very readable or even easy to to write something, especially complex thing, thanks to the initial design. But uh, so it's hard, very hard coding and reason about. But also, uh, that's no tool. So basically, you you only have an editor. So you can just open it and you 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 add it. You code it, you, you debug it. It's, there's no such standard tool for as in any other like uh, mainstream uh, language. You, you don't have such tool to enable you to uh, develop the smart contract. So what's the answer? So at least wh what I think of is uh, the so-called high-level language. So what is high-level language? So think about now we are all in Seoul, right? I don't know about you guys, but for me, I speak zero Korean. So when I land it, I'm like, no, that's, uh, nobody can understand me. So uh, the same. So the native language here is Korean. So it's the same. Uh, the script you can think of as a native language for Bitcoin, right? The Bitcoin, the network, the infrastructure, it only understand this language. This is the native language, right? So for, for us, for example, if we only know English, we need something to translate the English into the native Korean, for example, here, right? The same is true for, for high-level language like uh, Script. So you, you take this one, which is more readable to, to a, a regular developer. It doesn't have to be very sophisticated. So you can think of uh, this as a very, this is like English, and this is like Korean. So you need something to, to translate this language into the equivalent uh, script, okay? So you can see is so if you have a developer experience before, you can see this syntax looks very familiar to you because I want to design it such that the developers from other blockchains such as Ethereum they can easily understand. So they have a very minimum effort to to migrate whatever smart contracts they have on the other chains into Bitcoin, and also you have some. Uh, it's a static attack, but don't worry about too much about it. So this is uh, besides the language I designed for the compiler, and also as I mentioned, you need a full suite to develop into a, into a, and deploy and test everything. So I built this uh, prototype uh, here. So basic idea is to you can have this um, this tool to to streamline the whole process. So not only you can write in high-level language, which is much more developer-friendly, but uh, you can also uh, test it by uh, giving us uh, all parameters and instantiate it. 
So let's say we open a, a very easy example here. Let's say equal. So basically what, what this contract does is it gives you a, a, a number. So in the locking script, so when you, how do you unlock it? You have to plug in the same number into the unlocking script to unlock it. So let's first come here. I can, I don't know why it's showing, but let's go anyway. Now it's compiled. So let's see, I want to run it. Okay. So first I have to provide this number. Okay. I provide this number. Now, uh, where is this? Okay. It's a little bit hard to see. But if I plug in the solution, okay, now it should work. Okay. So basically, uh, this is the contract itself, and this is what uh, it looks like after, after it's compiled and the, into the locking script. And now this is also the unlocking script. So, let's, so we just run it, and we find out because it's equal. So now it uh, says execution successful. So not only we can run it, but we can also do a lot of fancy stuff like in any other IDs. So for example, we can uh, step through it line by line. We can look at the, the changes in the main stack and auto stack, but we can also look at the, all the variables uh, here too. So this uh, helps a lot. Well, it's like a regular ID. You can, you can debug it, you can step through it, but you can also, even better, you can uh, do a breakpoint. So you can even set breakpoints. And just uh, it's like any other regular ID. So now can we, can we go back? So this uh, is uh, primitive, but it's, uh, you got all the functionalities ready there. So, okay. So we look at the market. So, uh, so we how do we? So one easy way to look at is from the top down. So what are the what are the markets for the existing smart contracts? So we, if we look at some of the example other chains, we know is uh, at least a, a billion dollar. It's a billion dollar market, and because of those, they, they, they do not understand the internals of the Bitcoin. So they actually is uh, it breaks the original Bitcoin. So BSV now we want to bring back the original vision because you can know now there's no cap. We, after the genesis, we can scale it infinitely. So we, if we can do the same thing. Everything they can do, we can do, but also we can do it in a scalable way. So I imagine we could take uh, all the market cap from them. And the third point is, so as uh, very earlier I mentioned, the, I think as uh, Jimmy also talked about in last year in Hong Kong uh, Minus Summit, so we are supposed to see three types of transaction in the network. So first one is uh, just to transfer money. Uh, the second one, we have uh, tokens. Right, and the third one, we expect to see a lot of transactions with smart contracts. So, uh, as we, uh, I think, people in this room, we understand. So, we have to we have to bring a lot of transactions as soon as possible because otherwise there will be no incentive for miners. And uh, look at the reality now: we have some uh, tokens, we have some uh, 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 uses as money as payment, but we don't have any. As far as I think it's virtually zero smart contracts on chain on the chain. So uh, it, we are now going from something is virtually, uh, which is virtually zero to I think when the, in the example Jimmy gave is around uh, like we expect like a quite significant let, let's say up to thirty percent of the all the transactions is going to be, to be smart contract. So for that to happen, we need something like S script for people to develop. Uh, sophisticated uh, smart contracts. So either we have a lot of transactions within the next few years, or there will be a sad story. There will be no transactions. So that's something probably we don't want to see. Okay, so what are the alternatives? But you can see, so if you look at all the criteria, there's something you, you can scale on chain, but also 
you don't want to change uh, the underlying the script system. It has to be compatible, but also it comes with full IDE support. Uh, is, uh, you can write uh, smart contracts. We, in this case, I mean uh, some, something, some code that can run trustless or automatically on chain and verified by the miners. But also have uh, a lot of uh, language features like any other mainstream uh, language. Like uh, you can do loops, you can do, uh, uh, you can do functions, you can also uh, change variables. So if you look at the, uh, across all the different alternatives I have listed here, you can see Ascript is the only solution that works today without any, any changes or, or, or hacks. So give one example, let's say uh, Ethereum or EOS, they can also have uh, the, the, three, the ID, the language, they can also write a smart contract, but because the chain is not scalable, so it's not a long-term viable solution. And also, of course, it's not based on script, right? So if you look at the, this uh, only one that uh, works today on, on the native Bitcoin without any changes. So how do we, how do we sustain this? Uh, if we have built this, so I think the one one thing I could think of is to sell the the ID, but I'm not going to charge for the regular developers. So if you want to just uh, some amateurs that would just want to hack it, just uh, play with it. The language also, or the specification is also open source. You can you can do it uh, without any paying anything. But if you want to have the advanced features, let's say optimization or, or advanced. Uh, Debugging techniques. Let's say you want to say debug points, or you, and also, uh, so that one you have to pay. So just give a very like a rough estimate. So what what is the market we are talking about? So just, uh, so I think people in this room probably heard about this uh, developer called a uh, Unrider. So if you look at his Slack channel, that's about I think last last night I check again, it's around uh, 1,200 people there. So. So just if I only bring about this, these developers, which is the still early adopters, right? Let's be frank, this is still early stage. So if I can bring them aboard, and uh, just give one example of the, the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. So they charge uh, about a professional is the virgin is about uh, uh, like 1,000 per year. But as if you talk about enterprise, you pay like up to like 6,000 per year. So if I only bring about this 1,000 people around, uh, I'm talking about the yearly revenue of a, of a few million. And in the long term, I think in, uh, people in this room understand we are not just talking about uh, uh, just bring uh, uh, early adopters. We, want, we, we, we could see this, the Bitcoin thing go mainstream. And if you can say the smart contract takes like I don't know, a significant portion of all the transactions, you can see this, this language can grow into something like a very mainstream, like let's say down the road 10 years or 15 years when Bitcoin really scales to, to have 5 billion people use it daily, it can become, this language can become a, like a mainstream. And now you got selling advanced features. The ID, that should be a huge, huge, huge thing. So a very a quick uh, thing about me. Uh, for me, uh, just mainly just me work on this thing. I think some to build everything from the scratch. And also for the second edition of the uh, the idea of uh, somebody helped me with the front end because I'm also not very great at the front end. So I, I've, uh, before I get into the blockchain space, I was in the Facebook for a few years doing the uh, infrastructure research at the, at the research lab. And also I've been into this industry for now like uh, two years uh, fully. So I've been developing a lot of stuff in this space. So this is a roadmap. Basically, we want to release something that people can tinker with by the end of the year. The, it's going to be web-based. And the eventually, the, the idea is to, of course, to be a fully professional suite that, the, based on the desktop version by something next year. So I, now I've uh, uh, demoed this to, uh, to a few people. I think it's also something in chain, including Steve Shutters. I think the feedback I've been getting so far is uh, unanimous anonymously positive, so I want to bring some additional resources, have somebody help me to bring this into fruition in the quickest way possible, because we all know if either we can scale and bring a lot of transactions, or we all go home. So uh, 
that's the uh, end of my talk. Thanks very much, and uh, especially I think uh, I thank uh, Dr. Craig Wright to give me this idea to work on, and also Ain Chen to other people to give me a lot of feedback. Uh,